had a lot of issues with that last stream. Seems like my uh, internet service provider was having some issues in my area. Uh, the upload and download speed looks like it's returned to normal, so hopefully we won't have those issues again. And let's see. All our contacts, we got that uh, reward. The deceitful traitors. Let's go finish this making contact. Of the elders are known to reside nearby. You would do well to distance yourself from these feckless creatures. So all scan uh, scans are fifty percent faster due to a hack uh, reward we got. We've now have contact with Eastern Australia. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Um, let's go for this facility Avenger lead. Plotting new course. The Avatar Project this far in advance getting leads on facilities. Facility leads, when you... Um, research them after you first you have to get them we are victorious nice so we could go kill the assassin now i'm still thinking i'm going to hold out for that armor and nobody got wounded so that's good we just got some new intel on the chosen pretty soon we'll be able to take them down permanently if we want to take out the chosen once and for all we should move to strike their stronghold the resistance has found our access point. We just have to make use of it. Okay. How is everybody doing? When I do the uh, raid on the assassin's uh, lair, I do want to have all three skirmishers available and I want to have basically all my faction heroes available it's gonna make up one two three four five five members of the team um, I can use the Templar to tie her down in hand-to-hand -hand combat and use uh, Perry to protect uh, of course my Templar so when I do that uh, she is bonded with uh, Shakes. I'll never be able to pronounce his uh, Polish name. But I like to take a medic, especially on lair assaults, because they're long missions. People are going to get hurt. I'll definitely take my Reaper. So if you use your Reaper right, you can kind of avoid a pod or maybe even two in the first section. Um, probably I'll take a sniper as well. Might end up only taking two skirmishers. We'll see what happens. But when I do go, I want to make sure Hellborn is ready to go. At the minimum, Hellborn, Stormwalker, and Sandman. And I'll bring uh, Daniel Moore since he's bonded with uh, bonded with my Reaper. So, one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves one more empty slot. So, I'll probably just bring either Hugh Jones. So, oh, that's Sputnik. Judge doesn't have a bond. I'd rather bring, uh, since Hicks and Sputnik are both rangers, I'd rather bring the uh, captain over the lieutenant. So I'm going to wait at least six days. I actually kind of went to wait for my powered armor. There's a good chance, though, that she's going to attack the Avenger. Luckily, though, our defense matrix is up, upgraded to four turrets and staffed, which increases the accuracy and gives... Uh, squad site to the turrets. Okay, let's 
see what new resistance options there are. go for that one. Though if I had the chosen warlock, I can uh, open up another resistance order. 14 days. How many days until the uh, supply drop? 8 days. I can put that off for a little bit longer then. Really should look at the wiki about this. Plus one armor on light armor. The only problem is I feel like Predator and Warden armor is considered medium armor. So this would be a worthless advance this late in the game. It's got a lot of until. This could have been nice early in the campaign, but this late diminishing returns. Now these all seem kind of equal to me. I could do this one or this. This one would be the most profitable at the moment because I could uh, get another resistance order. But I want to keep I, I want to keep my Reaper ready. My Reaper is going to stay on standby because I need my Reaper for the uh, Avenger defense mission or the Stronghold assault on the uh, Assassin. And I mention that because when I go on these, if there's any chance of ambush, I try to send my Reaper. Because they can sneak through an ambush mission pretty well and scout for the other people that are stuck with them. So all that being equal, I look at the rewards see any promotions that's always a high. It's only six days to probably will do that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. It's only six days too, so in this technical it's a variable oh they're actually both uh, lieutenants now I need to start sending him on missions especially on legendary promoting the higher ranks you get a better reward for it because it, it takes a lot of missions and kills a lot more to uh, rank up a soldier Grenadier. The older's been my only Grenadier this whole time. The only thing of squatties is they're low enough that they might just rank up anyway without the reward. They do get experience, your troops, on covert obs. A-team ready for this, so I don't want to send a Skirmisher, I don't want to send my Templar, I don't want to send my Reaper. I don't want to send my Shinobi, because it's going to be my main scout, since the Reaper is going to be on standby. I've still not, I have not used this guy yet, because I haven't upgraded his gun. I'm 
I might go ahead and send Variable and Simpri, because they're level 2 bond, so it'll be a day quicker. It'll only be 5 days. Actually, not gonna send a scientist. If they get wounded, it won't. They won't be gravely wounded. I don't want to take any scientists off of my research because it's 18 days until my power armor is finished. If I send a scientist, it might drop it up to like 23 or so, 23 to 25 days for all I know. So we'll get some intel. My lead technical will rank up. Yeah, it's only five days because they're level two bond, which lowers the duration by one. So off they go. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure all my rain, uh, engineers are placed. Any other bonds? No. No negative traits. I'm almost tempted for once. I never usually get the Hyper Vital module, but the fact that my Reaper needs to be ready, my Skirmisher is ready to defend the Avenger or go on an attack on that lair. It's a lot of guys to keep ready for battle. And the Hyper Vital chamber makes it where one, once per campaign, per soldier, and restore them to full for a te uh, temporary. I believe it's temporary because it says instantly restore any soldier to combat ready. If I remember right, though, it is there. If they were wounded, they'll be at full health, full will. But when the mission's over, they go back to the state from before, and it might be cumulative with their wounds, of course, in the mission they just went on. These three, uh, Mentally Awake is, in my opinion, the best. Your Reapers will start with one focus on a mission. Parkour is actually nice, though, because their first blue move, they have a 1 in 20 chance that it won't cost an action. And for, in my experience, it tends to go off at least once a mission, or every other mission. These, though, we'll be ignoring because I'm using Long War class. These affect the uh, base classes of Vanilla Ranger, Vanilla Sharpshooter, Specialist, and Grenadier. I don't have the money for them anyway. Alright, let's continue scanning. Supplies from that. That frees up uh, two engineers. So I'm almost at max contacts, however. There you go. Now I can do three more. I can still upgrade this later. Which will increase the contacts. Plus, uh, you can, uh, I can even afford it right now if I wanted, but I don't need to yet. Wait till I get to max on that. I can start working towards my advanced explosives. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Yeah, so we're working on ammo and explosives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still have a free engineer. Where do I want to put this one? Might as well just put him into power. I guess that's a good question. What am I going to build down here? I don't have the money at the moment. If 
if I get a lot of, uh, like if I get a budget surplus at some point, I might build a laboratory. But most of the, uh, the supplies I get will be better put into uh, purchasing weapon upgrades, armor, things like that. So for now, I'm just going to put him in there. So we're set for power. I can start upgrading like the resistance comms. Actually, when I upgrade the resistance comms, I'll probably just shift that engineer into there. Commander, work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. Not actually change, I just want to see how long would it take. Oh, a day? Nice. Working at the Advent Clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens arrived. Okay, so I think we might go pick this one up. Avenger plotting new course. Actually, I do have enough intel and supplies I could actually. I'm gonna take advantage of these 50% faster. Ah, our Psy operative is ready. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. Okay, soul fire is nice. Uh, stasis is nice. Soul merge is nice in a way. For now, I'll go with uh, actually stasis. before he's ready for field service. How much does it cost to upgrade this one? 225. I will not allow the existence of any refuge in defiance of the Elder's will. All who would shelter in such havens are doomed! Our friends in the Resistance are paying a heavy price with the Chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Our action together is complete, Commander. Okay, so variable is trained. Let's see what new abilities you get a captain. I'm probably gonna go with that. Getting the extra two uh, to a blade of hit points and 50% uh, less damage from explosives. It's always nice. That one's nice too. I'm noticing the technicals, if you really, you can really uh, specialize them later on to be very survivable. Uh, the phosphorus flamethrower, you can damage mechanical units and shred armor. How much armor is it shred? Just one armor. I'm gonna go with the uh, survivability though. What's this one? Grants one free smoke grenade item to your inventory. That actually is kind of nice. I never really take smoke grenades because I'd rather take killing grenades. But this, you just get a free one for this character every mission. These two abilities on the wild tree, wild cards, does not trigger overwatch, gain 25 dodge against attacks within four tiles. You could actually build him up to where he can close in, use the flamethrower at close range. 
Plus, I had to take the uh, burnout ability. Every time he fires his flamethrower now, he gets a smoke cloud around him. Really make him into a close combat specialist. mission will pop up, but I'm really tempted actually to do the uh, assault on the assassin. I can get another facility lead for pretty high uh, ambush chance though. I really have like no PCS, so <sighs> I think I'm gonna go ahead with this one. But I'm gonna send some lower rank guys. Have to send a sergeant. It's only two sergeants. Wasting intel on keeping them unwounded. My followers will lead this action to victory. If you thought the elders were unhappy with you before, just wait until they hear you're working with those advent goons that broke free somehow. Everybody is ready for battle. But if I hold out for 12 more days, I can have the power armor. for power armor. Go here and take full advantage of that 50% scan time for four weeks. I might as well get as much scanning in as I can. Nice. One day before, uh, Supply drop. Another engineer, 95 intel. 
16 enemies. God, that's a lot of enemies. The enemy unknown is probably the sectopod. Because we still haven't run into them yet. It was weird they ran into a... Uh, Setting course for sector ran into 12, a gatekeeper. East Africa. I don't know why the gatekeeper showed up first in the campaign. Okay. I'm gonna bring all three of my skirmishers for this one. Bring his bond me. bring top notch again picks and should bring a medic Actually, Shadowkeeper kind of sucks right now. I haven't bought the upgrades. It's still the 2 to 3 damage versus 3 to 4. I know one thing I was thinking of building. I could actually upgrade some things. Not ready to upgrade this yet. Save the money until I'm actually ready to send the side trooper into the field. I'm gonna buy a mimic beacon. <clears throat> if, there, if, if situations get out of control, skirmishers are nice with them because they can throw one and not end their turn. As long as he took the. Uh, total combat. Okay, he has volatile mix, so I'm just gonna use a regular grenade. Do you have volatile mix? He doesn't. So I'll let you bring it. Ah, he doesn't have uh, extra slots. Volatile Mix 2. Actually, gonna give him a repeater. I like to have it on my guys that have uh, multiple shots. Hicks, you're gonna go ahead and wear the exo suit. I'll give you the superior stock. 
like I'm great from two to four damage on missed shots. Great as auto loader a bit. What do you have? Ten scope. though I think I'll give the mimic beacon to him because he could take a shot then throw the me the mimic beacon the nice thing of uh, the skirmishers they can throw it then shoot You go ahead and have dragon rounds, since you're painted all red. Set people on fire. And break one more of those. Even though I've got four with him. You have snapshot, and you do have rapid target. I almost always have my snipers far away from people. I'm gonna go ahead and give them lone wolf. overthink these. I go over my loadouts the, <laughs> like meticulously. Facing 16 enemies though, jeez. Can I build EMP grenades? No, because I'm out of supplies. It's tempting to give that scope to someone. I think <sighs> I think we're ready for this one. God, 16 enemies though. That is a lot. I do have my scout though. Got my uh, adversaries to the assassin. I would like to bring my Templar though. But, um, I can't put all my eggs in one basket. 
Let's do this. God, why 16 enemies? That's a huge amount. Sky Ranger. We're in the pipe. Five by five. I'm going to walk away for a moment. I will return. Resistance is asking for our help in extracting a VIP who had been providing reconnaissance data in this area. We've got the coordinates, but it's likely we'll have to clear out a contingent of hostile forces to make this work.
have returned. I apologize for that. Probably should have just paused the, the stream. Here we go. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already hmm. knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. I saw two vipers and looked like possibly an officer. They're still on high alert. I don't know if that's a permanent dark event or not, but regardless, my uh, shinobi still remains. Reapers and shinobis will still stay. Changing position. Uh, sealed. Yes, Commander. Okay, look pretty safe. Run away! I'm kind of running blindly at this. Okay, we gotta get to there. God, he actually bonded with a uh, demon, so that's good. Right. Ever vigilant move. I'll go ahead and ever vigilant him up I'm there. I'm all over it. I didn't think about that, but it was good. This is actually a pretty rapid team for uh, beating the timer. I got three. Three skirmishers and my shinobi, and they all have grappling hooks because my skirt uh, shinobi is wearing a spider suit. And my two rangers can always ever vigilant move and still go into overwatch, so. The slow guys are going to be my uh, sniper and my uh, medic, well, specialist. Utilizing hook. Covering some pretty good amount of ground here. While at the same time, still going into Overwatch. I take a new approach. to run him up to there. I wonder if he'll see. I wonder if he's date. You know, I'm gonna do it. Enemy patrol approaches. The oh, aliens geez. use this to defeat most of Earth's heavy conventional forces. It can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry. Oh, this is gonna be, be rough. I think what I'll try to do starting next turn is try to pull people in one pot at a time with my sniper. I see one, two, there was eight there, five, six, seven, eight. I see half the enemies from that skirmisher's point of view. Grapple there. My only fear is that it might activate them. I don't know if Gotcha again uh, mod 
if you'll notice it shows those warning symbols mean that will activate a pod if you move there. I'm wondering if moving across from the grappling hook or to there, I don't know if it reads the grappling hook. So for now, I'll be safe. Pretty much everybody's in Overwatch except for those two guys and my, or those two On guys. My cyborg. They're all just gonna swarm at me. They're not activated yet, but. Okay, so you're safe if you move up to there. What about some of these guys? Nope. Go ahead and try justice. Nice. Their armor stands. It claims that won't activate. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. this next turn I want to get... I'm actually almost tempted to activate them already. to that shield bearer. I should have done. Moved him up one and thrown the mimic beacon. Started this battle this turn by shooting him with the sniper. Okay, 14 enemies left. I want you to move up and go to Overwatch. I was hoping you'd reach to there.
And you... Just not in a good spot, buddy. But go ahead and just hunker down. And... I'm gonna steady his weapon for its plus 20 aim next turn. Affirmative! Covering out! Excellent. Please tell me you can still see the shield bearer. He can. I'm gonna rapid target him, get at that to 99%. Because it's plus 10 aim. He was at 89, it'll be 99. See, I want that shield bearer dead quick, because if he gives the shield bonus to everybody, it's gonna make a really annoying battle that much more annoying. we go. Oh, wait. Probably will end up being a mimic beacon worthy turn. This might be a good rocket turn to shred this guy. Ah, come on. There you go. Shred these two. if I can get one point of damage on that bastard. Go ahead of the Mimic Beacon. Okay, can you maybe... I can't believe he can't see the, uh... Going haywire. Let's see what the percentages are on this. Uh, it's 50-50. But if you fail, they become permanent. This is the thing I don't like in uh, XCOM 2, is with this hacking mechanic, you get a temporary reward but if you fail, it's a permanent penalty. Yeah, it's not worth the risk. here, he can see him. If he moves there, he can see him even. So I'm just going to move my scout. Just get line of sight of that guy. Can you now kill the shield bearer? Nope. God dang it. What if you move to there? Nope. God dang it. And from there, but he... I'm gonna risk it. <clears throat> Roger that. Okay, Sectopod can see him, but I'm counting on that. Ah, it's only four damage though. God dang it. This might not actually be a good idea. 
Let's see what this hack, what options are available here. Oh, well that would have been nice. <laughs> Not gonna do it though. I'll give it a shot. If I move to there, I'm sure he'll reveal that other pod, and I don't want to do that. But he can get line of sight there, so I'm, I'm going to risk this. I know there's that... There's another small pod out there. God damn it! Gotta wait for this stupid guy to finish moving before I get my turn, right? <sighs> Whiplash would be nice on him. I might end up just going for that. It is free. Go for it. I won't break you! And this can barely hurt him. I'm gonna try this justice. This is going to be really a bad turn coming up. <sighs> you went already. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I wonder if he can get a grenade far enough to... Does have the boosted cores, so it'll do plus two damage. Volatile mix, I mean. Him, I'm probably gonna just run back. I can tell I'm gonna need his healing. I don't want him getting hurt or possibly knocked out by this stun lancer. I'm really tempted to just put him in Overwatch, but he might get hit by the Psy Bomb first. But I know this guy's gonna sprint at us. Which also means I need to move him. Out. Go ahead and move him over here. Try to split my people up so the Psy Bomb doesn't get as many of them, and then he's probably going to paralyze somebody. Man, you're flanked. And for that reason...
need to get him out of that flank position, even though they can run up and flank him. God, this was, that was a dumb move. I should have just done that from the roof and went into Overwatch. Tubular. And you just come over here. Understood. Moving out. And where the hell am I going to put you? I'll come up that ladder. I go as ordered. It's about as good of an area as he's gonna get. This is not too bad for him. He okay, he'll destroy that, I'm sure. Okay, so the, at least the Sectopod didn't do much. Oh, if he goes after the decoy, I'll be so happy, because I was really worried about him. Good. Okay, still got those three guys, though. Did it miss him? And this bastard. I do have revival protocol. Got a here. So I can undo the shadow bound on him. It won't. It won't uh, get rid of his clone though. <sighs> what the hell are we gonna do here? See where he moves to. What the hell? The fire grows. Okay, at least I think this might be the turn I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to reveal him. that shield bearer? Okay, he's over there, but I guess I can't target him. this guy out. First things first, survival protocol. I believe that only costs one action. I don't think it ends his turn. I don't want to try that, but it's only 50-50. I think it takes both actions, though. I wonder if I can... Okay, if he's over there... Why can he not see him there? Ok, 
Okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Drop him there. Free throw of the axe. Then do a fletch. Or shoot him. <sighs> this might activate another pod, too. Our position revealed. Oh, he can't because his gun is screwed. Attack from there, he's gonna get a flamethrower attack next turn, but I see no other option. Shields are gone. Okay, Sniper, can you take out the sec pod? No. What about this guy? Sectopod has all that armor. I'm gonna go for it. 100% anyway. Unless there's somebody you can 100% kill in one shot. Go for it. This guy out too. Only six damage, really. Oh, you've got the grappling hook. Not moving him to here, I'm just seeing if it has a line of sight. Nope. If he had line of sight from here, I would grapple him up to there, which because he should have line of sight too then. Oh. Definitely do this free attack. I don't know why it disappeared, but there's a psi cloud there. It shows the purple. Oh, he might be able to kill with a free attack this. Yeah. Okay, let's see though your free reload. Reloading weapon. Do it. I will break you. Okay, I've killed two, four, twelve enemies left. Okay, I forgot about that bastard. 100%, 40% crit chance, 8 to 9. Gun does more damage. Nice! And he's burning. hasn't gone yet. He has hollow targeting. I'm going to take both shots. 
And, he, and his stock hurts him. So it's 15 plus 15% 15 to hit rate. No, that's Falcon that has the hollow targeting, not him. Oh well. Okay, did 10 damage. That's, that's, that helps. Wrath. He must have hollow targeting because those odds went up big time. Go for it. The Elder Age Useful Save. And it'll miss its next turn. I like that. But that's not enough. We need to kill it. Come on! I need to do two more damage to it. And that'll get rid of that in basically two enemies in one strike. Okay, if you run to there, you're no longer in the cloud. You can reload. I think that's a better spot. It's not a flank, though. That's a flank. I can handle that. I don't have free reloads. That was dumb. He spawned with Hellborn. Is that Hellborn? That's Judge. This is Hellborn. He hasn't got yet. Can you hit him with your damn shotgun from here? It's very low odds. Damn it, I should have run him up to here. And he didn't have enough uh, movement. That wasn't a blue move, I don't think. I could have used the double barrel. <sighs> the odds don't go up. This really is only chance. Come on. Fuck. Missed. Which one's more important? The Stun Lancer? Well, if I get this guy, it takes out two enemies. Fifty-five percent. What if... can you see him from that spot? He can. That'd be plus 20 aim. Oh, that's cover too. Oh good, it, so grappling does show if you can see him or not from that location. If I grappled it there, he has a flank shot on him, and he can see him. How far can you throw a grenade? Let's just try this. Let's just blow him up. Will it actually still let him reach? Darn, I thought it would. Wait, you can still grapple hook. If I go to there, it claims... Okay, I do have line of sight from there. I take a new approach. This should be plus 20 aim. 
Can he just slash? <sighs> I want to do the slash because the odds are so nice. Come on, man. Thank goodness. So that leaves the Codex and the Purifier. I'm okay if you're running up and hunkering down. There's another enemy down. Taking out that first pod took us down to 14 enemies. We took out three, so 11 enemies left. just go ahead and use a combat protocol. I should save those for robots. There's still going to be 11 enemies left after this, I believe. No, 9 enemies left. I'm actually just going to put them in Overwatch. Well, that was an oversight. I'm surprised he didn't go for the shinobi. Oh, he is. Way far away. Be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. <sighs> I'd rather take both shots from here. Because it. Yeah, do it. Because the second shot. Plus 10 aim. It's out. Ready. Free reload, thankfully. Good shooting. Do shit against that thing. I am reloading. Oh good, he has a line of center. Can you actually, uh, combat protocol that far one? Nice, I will do that. But first... 11 hit points, 7. I'll do a heal on him. Give him a heal! This guy. So he was. Looks like he was barely in line of sight. God, 
still eight enemies left, though. I, oh, I remember there was some, uh, snakes. So I'm gonna just have him run up. Good to go! Afraid to move him, he's so close to the front lines. Now, get height. Oh, you're on fire. Hunker down. Hunkering down uh, puts out the fire. Reload. Ready to go. I'm on it. Launch evade detection. Utilizing hook. Best odds, take the shot. Enemy is still up. Oh, I forgot they could do that. Oh, he almost died. Jeez. Definitely gonna do this heal. Heal bot coming through. <sighs> sort of afraid to move him up. Hurry. But I gotta keep moving. do an overwatch with him. That's pretty low odds. Ugh. Fucking terrible odds. Right, that's not getting cover. down get to full cover. Damn. Oh, it's because their defense bonus they give them on higher levels that your people never get. It's one thing I don't like in a legendary. Weapon. One in 
five, just go for it. Maybe I'll hurt the cover so Hey, reduced it. Go for it. You're behind full cover. I have failed. Need ammunition. How much are your odds now? That's one and two. Go for it. And he does two damage on misses. Go to cover. What are your odds? One and three. Go for it. Efficient attack. Ammunition nearly gone. I was looking for this ability, and I don't know why it... I wonder if it's because he was in full cover? Maybe he can't do justice when they're in full cover? No one escapes. But I'm a little pissed because I specifically selected both of them and looked to make sure one of them had justice. Seven enemies left. And you just need to get to cover. It's 12 hit points. I think he'll be okay in half cover even if he gets hit. Anybody else need a heal? I'm having to save these. Heading out. Nobody's in Overwatch. They run from battle. Our danger grows. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's see what you see. God damn it! I think that's the not from their paw, but the guy we were just fighting. Right. I had an elite trooper. I could grapple hook him back, but I'm gonna wait. Free reload. Reloaded! Did you kill any of these bastards? If I move him up to there, I'm afraid he's going to activate. I know there's snakes on that roof. Reloading. It's another turn before he can do justice. If I move, he catches fire. So, might as well shoot. Okay, six enemies left, I believe. So it'd be these three and three up there.
I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to waste a whole turn on Overwatch. Because I can't move up without revealing that pod. No trespassers. Alright, it's a free reload, don't waste it yet. Ray. Positioning. Holding position. Watch order confirmed. <sighs> it's killing time. I'm expecting that the Spectre will try to advance towards Got us. It <laughs> Like the turn, I might as well take that plus two sight. For two turns, so that'll just I think it counts this turn. So it's just it's God, it's what a wimpy reward. Accessing system. I'm in. because they have a defense bonus on legendary that's ridiculously high. It's a flank. So go ahead. I take a new approach. <laughs> 